Hey, hi, how is it going? We haven't done a truck video in a little while, so we're going to do a little bit of one anyway. We are going out to eat, but, you know, it's one of those things to where I say, where you want to eat? And she says, I don't know, you pick. So I, we don't know yet where we're going. I say you pick because I pick all week. It's it's back and forth. I have to choose what we eat every right. meal, so you so, pick. So we don't know yet if we want, do we, do we want noodles? Do we? Uh, do we? Or do we want fish? Do we? I, I don't know. You know, I mean, it's the pickings are a little slim. And it might be busy. It might be busy. That's that's brings me to my other point. We are going to be in totality in two days. What kind of totality? Uh, it's going to be dark. It's going to be We're dark. We're always in the dark. That's true. That's true. But there's supposed to be like 30,000 people up here in this little bitty town of less than a thousand. You know, I'm not seeing a lot of traffic though. I'm not seeing a lot of traffic either. I'm starting to think maybe it's, it's a... What day is it? Saturday? Yeah, it's Saturday. So we still got two days, but you'd think they'd be coming in to stay at the one little motel that they've got. Well, or you'd all start the seeing fields, people's mode to... Right. Or you'd think you would start seeing people, you know, parking on the side of the road being charged five hundred dollars for parking and things like that. But I'm not I'm not really seeing any of that. Not seeing the traffic I seen two days ago. No. Now, somebody said Walmart's parking lot was full, but that doesn't surprise me. It's always full. Yeah. Everybody goes to Walmart. Exactly. Unless you go at 6 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So, what are, you, what are, you, but, but what are your thoughts on the, the eclipse? What do you think about it? Are you excited? Not excited? I'm ambivalent. Ambivalent. That's a good word. That is a good word. I mean... I, if, if that is something somebody is interested in, I'm sure they get excited and I understand and that's their thing. It's not anything I get excited about. Right. I'm not excited for it either. You know. Um, I don't know. If it, it's I'm neat. more concerned about the reaction my animals will have right. because of light driven animals like chickens. Um, could get extremely afraid and, and scared and go under the house. Yeah. I'm, I'm not excited. I think it's, uh, I don't know, I guess I'm kind of ambivalent too. But it is kind of neat, I guess, that it only happens once every 300 years. So it's a once in a lifetime thing to be in totality. I mean, you still have regular eclipses like two or three times a year. But only once in a lifetime will it be a total eclipse where you are. Yeah. Some people would probably, I guess, never see one. I, I, I guess I'm just not the type of person that is going to get so excited that I travel. No, I'm not traveling. From another state or another country. No. You know, there's people from Japan that came in. Right. To see this. And, and that it's just not, you know, not my thing. But there's stuff that I'm interested in that other people are ambivalent about. So. That is true. That is true. You know, my brother said something that was uh, made a little bit of sense, too. I know that's unusual. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, but, you know, they were talking about how many people were going to be coming out to see this eclipse and everything. I, I totally, I'm like him. I just don't see it. Because for one reason, from what is it, Mexico or Texas, all the way up north, it's got this little path that it's going to take, you know? Why would they come to this area? Why wouldn't they just go to Texas? Why wouldn't they just go to Missouri, wherever it's going to cross right through there? I don't, there's not going to be 100,000 people show up right down here. You well, know, that's just kind of crazy. Maybe it's cheaper to come here. I don't know. Maybe uh, considering, places to stay were less expensive here. Considering like the people from Japan you were talking about, they're going to have to fly over here. There ain't no airport around here. So they're going to fly into an airport somewhere where it's definitely going to be mm -hmm. taking that path. Maybe because it is a rural area and you're going to have a better view of a clear sky instead of in a city where... 
that is a good point. There's, There's a, a lot, lot of lights. street yeah. lights right. that'll come on. That is a good because point. Because they're on timers. Absolutely. Um, you have pollution in a lot of places. That is a good point. Absolutely. A lot of places it's private land. Hundreds and hundreds of acres of private land. That is um, a good point. But it will visibility, be dark. even though it's, you're just seeing dark, if you're in a big city with light dimmers, automatic things. Yeah, they say in big cities you can't really see the stars. You can see stars, but you can't really see the stars until yeah, you get out. Well, out to, here, yeah. you can. Absolutely, yeah. That's my thinking. Well, that's pretty good thinking. Sometimes it works. My brain works sometimes. Yeah, that is pretty good thinking. Just a good view of a dark sun. A good view of a dark sun. For four sun. minutes. Yeah. Well, what do you think the animals are going to do? Because I can tell you what I think they're going to do. Your chickens, because I know they're the... I was going to say, I don't light. think the dogs will do really anything mm. other than maybe no. whine. No, Ollie may want to treat oh. and go to the bed. That's about all he'll want. The chickens are going to get confused um, and want to go to bed, but we have some storms that get really dark, too. Yeah, that's true. So, they may go under the house thinking that they missed, because they can't see good at night. Right. Chickens can't see good at night. So, they may run under the house just thinking that they did didn't get to the roost on time. But with it being four minutes, they'll come back out and everything will be fine. I agree. I think that's exactly It's what not going to mess with their egg laying cycle. It's not long enough to do that. No. I, but, I, you I know, agree. it is confusing to them, so I'd kind of like to s just see what they do. What, what about you? I agree. I think that's exactly what's going to happen. I think they're going to go, what in the world is going on? I need to get to the hen house. And then they're going to go in the hen house. And then by the time they get up on the roost, it's going to be sun back out. Do you, that's about it. Okay. Do you think it's going to set off the, what did you say this morning? The, oh, that was my next thing. What do you think? What do you think about all these uh, conspiracies? You know, I there's think they always, do it every time. somebody always has a great conspiracy. All, think, the end of the world is always coming. I think there's a whole bunch of people wanting the end of the world or an apocalyptic event. Exactly. And when they had one, the end when of the they world. had one, they ignored it yeah. and said it was a hoax. Yeah. The so, end of the world is always closer than the beginning of the world. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't understand it. They even um, got a big sign there solar eclipse. Expect major delays. Mm hmm. You know, there's, there's just a, a lot of people looking for conspiracies and hidden messages and things yes, like that. I agree. The, the newest this one this is morning. This is a regular event. It exactly. happens, it's like, happened like every year and a half. Yeah, it's happened before. It just so happens it's going to happen in the Bible Belt. That's true. So, you know, I'm a Christian. But I don't think this is the coming of Jesus. No. You, God said you're not going to know. Exactly. Exactly. People putting in the, you know, that the Bible says that there was an earthquake and then the sun went dark. Well, you know what can also do that? Yellowstone blowing up could do that. It, it doesn't have to be an earthquake in America. That's true. I don't know why we always think everything to do with the Bible is going to happen in America. Well, that's our selfishness. This is it, the great well, it's American eclipse. like having eclipse. a picture of a white Jesus on your wall. He well, wasn't white. Well, that's true. But this is the great American eclipse. I know. Only Americans. Only Americans. That's right. No. It's it's uh, it's an event. It's... The latest one this morning I read was uh, it's going to cause the New Madrid fault to... How? It's going to make the earthquake and then the Madrid fault shake or whatever. How? I don't know. How's I it just gonna read move that. The and when it's, it's, as soon as I read the title, I just, you know, kept scrolling. You know, what, because what that was could ridiculous. cause the New Madrid is that earthquake they had in New York. That, that is true. Yeah. You know, that could make the New Madrid go off. Yes. The earthquake in Taiwan or Japan or something like that could shift everything. Oh, absolutely. All the plates around. But the, I don't see how the solar eclipse could. I know the moon and the sun have a lot of control over things like, for example, the tides. We could lose gravity for just a few minutes. I read that too. And all mm -hmm. of it, we go flying through the air. 
Oh, people just want something, don't they? Why can't we just enjoy what is actually going to happen and that be enough? I agree. You know, just the eclipse in itself. Just enjoy it for what it is. It's crazy. And that be enough. And, and I think a lot of it also has to do with... Uh, because back before cell phones and social media and all that stuff, if there was somebody running around saying that, they would have been called the crazy person on the corner of the street. But now, with social media and YouTube and TikTok and all that stuff, one crazy person can put something out there and then somebody says, listen to this stuff, and then they share it, and this person shares it. People are just putting that stuff out there for clicks. Well, it's all always... They're doing. They just want clicks. It's always been this way. They've always thought it was the end of the world. Um, the Aztecs ex uh, executed, sacrificed people to the sun god so that they the sun would come back out um you know this is not anything new that you have people that are easily swayed into uh thinking putting more into something than is there it's you know they burned witches at the stake different things like that that's true they did a lot of so, crazy stuff you know just take it for what it is a naturally yeah, I don't really occurring know, event. Yeah, I don't know why people are worried about the end of the world anyway. I mean, most of those, you should be ready. You should have your stuff packed and ready to go, you know what I mean? Well, if it happens, it happens. Just let it go. I don't know. I think they need to, I don't know, feel important or something. I'm not sure why. It's like they all, it's like they want, it's like a lot of folks want you to just be scared all the time. Yeah. Stay inside. Lock the doors. Don't look under the bed. But not when you need to. <laughs> well, <that's laughs> don't stay inside when you need to. Yeah, that's true. Um, that's when everybody should have been really worrying about the end of times. When you had people dying by the thousands of a virus that people wouldn't cancel their kid's birthday party. because I mean, come on church preachers, pastors in the pulpit telling people um, that it, they better not wear a mask in their church. You know, things like yeah, so a lot of those same people are also saying that this is the end of the world event. So. Well, I can say this. Tuesday afternoon. Is it Tuesday or Monday? Well, it's Monday, but Tuesday morning I'll be going to work. I don't think it's, I don't think anything extraordinary is going to happen. Yeah. Besides. I'm still not seeing, we're in, you know, one of the cities, towns, and I'm not seeing a lot of traffic. No. No, the little town back there had a, a bunch of stuff going on, but nothing they're that was. They're having a festival. Yeah, they're having a festival, and they're just trying to, and I don't blame them. They're just trying to make money off of some stuff like this, but, uh, you know. That wasn't a huge crowd, though. That wasn't that big a crowd. No more than they usually have during uh, the right. season. They had a, you know, a little band playing. They always have a little band playing. And I figure Sunday and Monday will be, you know, tomorrow and Monday will be where there's a lot of traffic. You think there'll be a lot of traffic on a Sunday? I don't know, maybe. I, I'm not sure either. Um, I don't know. We're not having church Sunday, but more because uh, the pastors and different leaders were told to treat it like a bad weather event. Because of all the traffic that because was Because of the possible traffic. Um, yeah. They didn't, just didn't want anybody in our congregation to get out and have an accident. And that's what it, that's how you should be. That's understandable. You should be trying to protect the people you care about. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, so we're not going to have church tomorrow. Uh, I don't plan to leave the house. No. I'm going to go, uh, well, not Sunday, but Monday, I'm going to go outside and put a little cover over my uh, camera and try to video some of it, if it's not raining and cloudy. Yeah. You know, I hope people, this is a poor community, poor county, period, poor state. Um, and I do hope we rely on tourist dollars around here. 
and things haven't been going as well. So I do hope people make money. I oh, do absolutely. hope the restaurants make money and the hotels and different places make some money. Absolutely. To kind of make up for the money that they've lost in the past few years. Yes. Um, yes, I'm excited. So I hope they get a good crowd. If there was a good turnout, exactly. If there's a hundred thousand people show up down here in this little town, more power right. to them. And if they're all wearing tinfoil helmets, even better. Yeah, exactly. If they you want know? to wear tinfoil <laughs> helmets, they're not going to bother and, me. And their let them do it. Eclipse glasses. Yep. And, let them do it. You know, if they want to phone home, that's go right exactly ahead. right. And if they and if they want to believe that the end of the world is because of that, let them believe it. Yeah. They're not bothering me. Just use. I don't understand it. I don't understand it, but you know what? There's a lot of stuff I don't understand. Me too. And I'm fine with it. Well, I'm you know, we, we enjoy things that a lot of people don't understand. That's true. Um, we love to go looking for shells on on the beach. Yep. At night, people people don't really understand that. There's a you know a lot that do enjoy it, but others want to go watch the sunset or go play in the water. I don't care about getting in the water at all. I'm glad everybody doesn't like to do what I like to do. Me too. Because it would get crowded. It'd get, yeah. Yeah. It would I get know crowded. everybody loves chickens, though. Oh, absolutely. They love chickens. And e everybody loves gardening. They love so. pickles. Pickles, absolutely. gardening. Mm -hmm. uh, they love food and cooking. Yeah, bulldogs. And chickens and bulldogs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, it looks like they're having some kind of food vendors oh oh yeah this is the place that's charging you to go in oh yeah looky there they've even got a ferris wheel yeah Holy they put cow. in a, a it's not going sales and there's nobody there but they've got i think it starts there. tomorrow and they'll charge uh ticket prices oh, vip right. parking shuttle drops oh man this is gonna be fancy down here yeah yeah they'll have it set up where people can uh enjoy the eclipse with fun and games and food. Well, that's good. And community. Some good family entertainment. Fellowship. How about fish? Would you like to have I fish for lunch? Fish. I love fish. You love fish and it a good sounds, salad? I love that too. I'm about to starve. Are my, you about to starve? My little ones are eating my big ones. Well, uh, I get it. I get it. Well, I, folks, we're almost to the luncheon place and we're going to get a bite to eat we'll catch you guys down the road if we survive the totality you know what i'm saying